Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Great to have you back here on the Six on Jet for Thanksgiving Eve. One of the cool things about our camera network is we can go outside. So we have a live shot of the Rainbow Bridge, and you can see the flags up there. A bunch of mess through that view, and we've seen some flashing lights off the glass side of that building. So there is the Rainbow Bridge, and we're going to switch gears, and we're going to go over to the Buffalo area. And as Jen Mobilia was reporting, traffic is back to moving fairly well. So uh, this is Buffalo, New York, and on the uh, bridges, skyways, and interstates, things at least in this area, moving pretty nicely. So good to see improvement there. Now, this may not be view viewed as improvement, but this is very typical. Back home, Peach Jam, I-90, and uh, you can see the abundant traffic that you would expect on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. But what you don't have is any problem from the weather. Radar is clear. If you go east, even the New England storm is but a memory. Actually, just rain showers in New York State and parts of Pennsylvania, and a lot of dry air all the way back to the eastern Rockies. So this is shaping up fairly nicely for most areas for travel over the next three days. 47 was our high, 42 our low, averages are 48 and 35. So we're fairly close to normal and we just picked up a little bit more precip at ERI. So we're still below normal for the month, but still above normal for the year. So here's your headlines. The only fly in the ointment, there could be a few late day showers tomorrow or tomorrow evening. Don't bank on it, but it's dry otherwise. It's dry Friday, it's dry Saturday. May get some more rain Sunday afternoon. Here's your temps. 41 from Jim in Fairview and Keith and McCain. 37 LaRue in Greenfield. 40 from Wendy in Venango Township. Uh, 41, Ed and Janice Westmead, 39 in Espyville from Roseanne, 41 from Brick in Crossingville, Ward at 40, and John and Ludlow at 38. So if you look at the big map, other than this front, which isn't producing much of anything, there is an expanse of dry weather, okay? So if you're looking at travel impacts tonight, maybe a little bit on the East Coast, but remember, green means good. So let's go to tomorrow, Thursday. Storm developing in the Rockies, but lots of green around us. You want to go into Friday? Same type of deal. No big storms anywhere near our area. Now the temperatures are going to be cooler as we go into the weekend, but until Sunday it's mainly dry. So any spitty spotty precip or fog or mist leaves the area. Now tomorrow night a couple spots could get a shower or wet snowflake, but a lot of you will miss that and then it's shuffling out for Friday. So our jet pinpoint forecast, cloudy, chilly, and damp, maybe a little light rain or drizzle along the lake shore, 39 to 43. South of 90 inland, Titusville, Meadville, Edinburgh, some drizzle possible at times, or patchy fog, 33 to 37. Mountains of Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean, some patchy drizzle or wet flakes possible, again, very light, 32 to 36. So here's Thanksgiving Day, mix of clouds and sun, slight chance of a late day shower, most of the time dry and cool. Black Friday is dry, Saturday deer season is dry, Sunday some afternoon showers, maybe some rain or snow into Monday as temperatures fall next week. We'll give you more on that as that gets closer, but for the immediate future, things look pretty nice. Check out your forecast and the cameras on the Your Erie to Go app. All right, thank you, Tom. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Coming up.